Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Lenovo Legion Slim 7. Now this 15.6 inch gaming laptop is actually in stock. You can purchase this. I'll include a link in the description to Best Buy, $14.99 US. You're getting a 15.5 inch, 165 hertz, full HD uh, IPS panel. It is Dolby Vision certified like most of Lenovo's gaming laptops. Uh, AMD's Ryzen 7 5800H, eight core processor under the hood, so certainly more than enough power there. And then an NVIDIA RTX 3060, and that is the Max-Q variant. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM, half of which uh, are soldered to the board, so be aware of that. And a half terabyte NVMe SSD. So let's take this thing out of the box and get down to business. Now, this is yet another, I think, what will be really good option for many of you, especially because as I've mentioned, it's actually in stock and affordable. I mean, at its price point, it's pretty hard to beat uh, right now what's out there. I mean, there are other options, no question about it, but I think Lenovo uh, with this design is going right after my Asus G15 which by the way makes perfect sense because the Asus G15 in its weight class is really hard to beat. Um, and also we've got quick charging on here. Of course, no Thunderbolt because as I already stated, this is a AMD based machine, uh, but we do have plenty of ports and a card reader. So I'm excited to get to that. Let's take a look at the actual power brick here. Uh, I believe it's a 230 watt supply. And this was sent over by Lenovo for review. For those of you that are curious, uh, you now know, uh, but this is not a sponsored video. So the power cord for the actual power brick and then the 230 watt brick, which is the same brick that Lenovo uses across a wide array of machines. Uh, the Legion isn't the only one, this specific Legion, I mean, the seven. So. Again, at four pounds, this is really meant to appeal to people that are looking for a gaming laptop that also is practical when it comes to travel. And that's exactly what I think we're going to see. Let me get the packaging out of the way. Typical Legion branding here. And let's go ahead, spin this around. And here we go. So my Asus G15 uh, with the 3070 is a $1,900 machine. This, of course, much less expensive at $1,499, which is part of the practicality besides the fact that it's actually available. Build quality, I can tell you right now, this is the first time I'm touching one. Very nice, solid uh, aluminum, it feels like, all around. And you can already see why they call it the Slim. I'm gonna get the packaging out of the way and we're gonna actually look at this machine. So let me get everything associated with it out of here. And I think we're in the clear. I'm gonna get the power brick out of here as well. And, you know, if you need more than a 3060, uh, obviously look at a different machine, but if a 3060 is enough, which with this full HD 165 Hertz IPS panel, it certainly should be, then this might be a great machine for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the right side of the machine. You can see we've got uh, two type C ports right here, uh, as well as some ventilation. Really slim, if you haven't noticed yet. That's why it's obviously carrying the slim name. Uh, ventilation at the back, and then we have two type A USB ports right here, along with the proprietary power port for that 230 watt supply that I just showed you. And then on the other side of the machine, this is something I love about this laptop already, even though it's my first time looking at it. We have a full-size SD card slot, something that just doesn't exist on too many laptops these days, especially gaming laptops. Of course, headphone, uh, microphone combo jack. Let's open this thing up. Some Legion branding. I mean, already I like the fit and finish a lot. I think this should be, if it isn't already, uh, at the top of many of your lists because quite frankly, it's a really nice machine at a really palatable price. So keyboard, 1.3 millimeter uh, key travel. I already know that. Matte finish on this display, um, if you were curious. Uh, no high gloss, so I'm a fan of that. We have a webcam up here at the top as well as a privacy switch. 
Uh, and we do have a full numerical keypad, fingerprint scanner on the power button. Let's see if it boots. It looks like it's going to. Fairly large trackpad. I'm not sure if it's plastic or glass. I think it's plastic, uh, but the deck again feels like all aluminum. So really nice build quality all around. And uh, I mean, again, at $14.99, you're getting pretty much everything you could want. This is not going to be underpowered. I have no idea what battery life is like, but as I mentioned, the quick charge is real on this. Um, Lenovo is advertising something around like 15 minutes of charging gets three hours of battery life. So of course I'm gonna put that to the test, but already I can tell you the full HD panel looks good. Um, the keyboard of course does have backlighting. I'm trying to seeing if it's coming on, but it doesn't seem like it is. Oh, uh, no, nope, doesn't seem like it is, but that's probably user error, I'm guessing. I also see, there we go, it is user error because the up down arrows are your ability to uh, raise and lower. You can see we've got per key, it looks like, going on. Um, I've changed the mode. So uh, RGB lighting is a go for those of you that are interested in it. It's there. And again, the combination of the 8-core Ryzen 7 uh, CPU and the 3060 is pretty solid. I mean, so far in the testing that I've done on other uh, Lenovo laptops with that combo, the results have been really good. Now, because this is a Max-Q variant, which means we're not going to peak on the TDP, the power that it can pull to the 3060. I'm not expecting to break any records, but again, this machine is about being thin and capable. So we'll see if there's any throttling in store, but we have to set realistic expectations, much like with, I'm gonna refer again to my Asus G15, and I'll likely end up comparing those machines, this and my G15, simply because they're in that same category you know, of thin and light. Now, uh, can you get this in a more powerful configuration? Yeah, you can get a 4K display. You'll drop down to 60 hertz. You can get a uh, 5900HX 5900, uh, as opposed to the 5800H uh, CPU that's inside of here right now. I don't believe though that this model uh, is presently available with anything beyond a 3060. I know they have other ones on the way, but remember right now, uh, I can put a link into Lenovo, but I'm fairly certain at the time of this unboxing, Best Buy is the only place you're going to pick this up. So again, build quality looks good. It's just a matter of putting it through the paces, testing it out, display looks nice. And um, you know, if you are a fan of Lenovo keyboards, then you're gonna be happy with this. The key travel is good at that 1.3 millimeters. And I really do like having the numerical pad. That's one thing I do miss on my G15. Uh, and of course, having a webcam. I mean, the G15 is webcamless, as many of you know. So we'll see what it's like. I will update all of you as soon as I can. Again, uh, it's good to see another thin and light gaming laptop here in 2021 at a price that is affordable. And the best part is it's actually available to buy. Um, and by the way, for those of you wondering, you can open this with a single hand. I really like the build quality. I mean, this is something where I wish my G15 had this sort of build quality. And I don't think the branding, the Lenovo or the Legion is uh, in any way uh, too much. Um, this is really a toned down machine that I think at first glance, you wouldn't even know it's a gaming laptop. So I dig it. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.